Oh, well, my little hound dog has flushed out a little uh, bunny rabbit down there. Lots of little cottontails around here. A few coyotes we've seen. Some red tail hawks. I guess this wash provides a bit of water for uh, a lot of the animals. Nice little flat area right there. Didn't even have to level up. The road in was a little lumpy. The biggest problem is when you get off the highway back there, there's a little bit of a wash to go through. There was a little bit of water in it, but it's very hard on the bottom. And then there was a few uh, lumpy little hills, a few blind hills, but uh, the road is mostly wide enough for two vehicles to pass. I guess you could meet up with someone else, but most people just go slow. It's worth it though. The gorgeous scenery. Okay, so finish up our hike, hiking back along and down in the wash here. It's kind of neat down in the cottonwoods. Still evidence that it's uh, pretty wet. I've seen pools of water here and there. But uh, to make sure you, uh, when you come in here, you know the weather forecast because you don't want to be in here if a bunch of rain's heading in. Because you go through quite a few dips to get in here and they're basically washes and if it rains heavily you'll be trapped in here you won't be able to get out. Also this uh, red soil will quickly turn to uh, thick mud. So you want to make sure you come in here when it's uh, nice and sunny. I don't think we're going to have an issue. I don't think we'll have an issue the next few days. It's supposed to be gorgeous. Somewhere in the high 60s, low 70s. Just above freezing at night. We're here uh, April 2nd today, so we'll spend a few days early April. Absolutely perfect weather. Not too many other campers around. I saw a few rigs coming in. Took the whole drive all the way around. Only saw a few other people, so... That's really cool. So there's our nice flat spot there. You can see the road in is uh, pretty wide. Not much washboard anywhere at all. It's actually uh, a really nice road for a gravel road. Wide enough for two cars to pass. There is spots where it gets narrow and quite lumpy and a few washes. But I see lots of little city cars making the rounds. But uh, the biggest problem with a, as soon as you're into a longer uh, RV is when you go down into the, the wash, it's kind of like a U shape. And you'll go down and come back up and your back end would drag and possibly get stuck. So... Uh, this one's about, has a few miles in off the north north entrance. I forget what highway it is, I think. The one that goes between uh, Bluff and Mexican Hat. You come from Bluff and you, the first, you see a Valley of the Gods sign and it's the first right. And uh, this road's like a big long loop. Comes out on uh, near Goosenecks State Park. Yeah, this spot's good. You can actually get quite a few RVs in here. And the views are awesome. Time for breakfast, eh, Beagle? She's on the trail of another rabbit. Here's a bit higher up view of uh, where we're camped. Way down there is Monument Valley. Kind of give you a uh, look at the scenery around our uh, 
awesome boondocking spot here. Valley of the Gods. Okay, we come in a little further to enjoy the sunset. You can see a guy's got a little tent camper down there. There's the road that goes through. It's a pretty good road. You know, it looks like a good road, and it is flat and everything, but uh, it drops down into these uh, washes, and that's where you'd have trouble with a long RV or a trailer. Dragon bottom. Beautiful, beautiful evening tonight. So, I'll show you where we're camped. Let's zoom in here. There we are, two little white specks in the giant red landscape. It's pretty cool. What do you think, Beagle? Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice, eh, Beagle? Yeah, it's all right. Let's go eat some food. So here's the first big wash that kind of makes it hard for trailers. out for an early morning photography shoot for Ann. Sun's just ready to crack that ridge. Lighting up the rocks further in here. Love it in here, dead quiet morning. Nice and still. There's a full moon peeking through the sandstone. That's pretty cool. This is the area further in, but because of that wash, I wouldn't bring my fifth wheel in this far. Ours is pretty cool still, but a lot of truck campers and camper vans, tent campers in this area. 
Okay, here's an example of uh, one of those washes. You can see the coming down here and where the road comes along there. And it kind of dips down to go through that wash and back up. Well, if you have a pretty long trailer, you know, you or or a you know, class A or something, your RV will go down and then start coming up while your trailer is still going down and you have a good potential of dragging your bottom, maybe even getting stuck in there. Not something, not a place I'd want to be stuck, that's for sure.